and children, today I am going to tell a storytelling story. So let's begin. Teachers and my dear friends, my name is Shreya Shailendra Shraddha Kaire, studying in 4th Standard Division A2. Today I am going to tell you an interesting story of a boy whose name was Ram. So let's begin. Name of my story is Storm. Once upon a time, there was a boy whose name was Ram. Ram was living with his father near Riverside Village. His father was a farmer. Ram used to go to school and help his father in farming. This was his daily routine. Go to school, help father, go to school, help father, go to school and help father in farming. One day, Ram was sad and sat near the river quietly. His father noticed that and thought, Something is wrong with Ram and went near him and asked, What's the matter, Ram? Ram said, Father, I feel I'm not worthy. I do same things every day. I don't have friends. I sit alone in school. No one is happy with me. I feel lonely. Ram picked up a stone from the river and said, Just like the stone, I am worthless. Father was listening to Ram carefully. With a big smile on his face, Father called Ram near him with that stone and said, Do one thing Ram, today is Sunday, we have weekly market, go there and try to sell this stone. Whoever asks for it, just show them your five fingers. Don't say any word and don't sell this stone, just come back home. Ram sadly nodded his head and went to market. On his way to market, Ram was thinking that no one is going to buy this stone. I don't know what father wants to prove. Let's give it a try. After reaching the market and waiting for some time, one uncle came near Ram and asked, Are you selling this stone? If yes, at what cost? As father instructed, Ram raised his five fingers. The uncle said, Is it for five rupees? Okay, I will buy it. Ram couldn't believe that that uncle wanted to buy a worthless stone for five rupees. He was happy. He came back home without selling the stone. With a smile on his face, he narrated the story to his father. Father replied, Okay. Next day, the father took him to museum and said, Go there and try to sell the stone. Ram went in and was standing in waiting area for some time. The museum supervisor noticed Ram and went near him and said, Are you selling the stone? If yes, at what cost? Ram looked at him and again raised his five fingers. The supervisor looked at the stone and said, I will buy the stone for 50 rupees. Ram was surprised and amazed to hear the cost of it. He left the museum without selling the stone and told everything to his father what happened in the museum. After this, his father took him to precious stone store. And said, go there and try to sell the stone. Dan went in and met the store owner and showed the stone to the store owner. Store owner looked at the stone and said, Stone is good. We can carve on it and use it in gold jewelries. Please tell me the cost of it. Ram again raised his five fingers. The store owner thought for a while and said, I will buy the stone for 500 rupees. Ram was happy and amazed to hear the cost of it. 
he left the store without selling the stone and told everything to his father what happened in store and the price offered for the stone after coming home over a meal father asked ram what did you learn from this lesson ram said everything exists for a reason nothing is worthless similarly friends we also experience these feelings at times so always remember this stone story i have faith in yourself the moral of the story is nothing is worthless from smallest stone to biggest planet everything has its own reason and value thank you hope you like this story do like share subscribe to my channel bye